morning, everyone. It's Thursday, May 28th, 2009. Not a whole lot of swell in the water. We don't have a whole lot headed our way, though, in the near term. We do have some stuff, though, coming our way. It looks like around June 5th we'll be seeing some decent swell. Also some potential for seeing something around June 12th as well. It's out on the long range, but it could be something significant. wanted to show you everything that's happened on the model. Spring that all together as well as a possible increase. Looks like it's going to happen on Sunday. Not a whole lot, though. We're looking at a little bit of southern hemi coming up and a little bit of a wind swell to be forming as well. And also a change in weather is in store. So I wanted to show you how that's all coming together, how that's linked to the swell, what it'll mean for conditions. But also, once again, wanted to really emphasize today by showing you what's happening down in the southern hemisphere to bring some swell for it looks like around the 5th and the 12th as well. This is what's happening right now. Starting now looking at the weather models, we can see why we've got somewhat of an onshore flow. Still have a lot of vorticity sitting off the coast, spinning counterclockwise. That's got a southwest flow over the area. High pressure is still in over to California, but as we move the models forward in time, we can see these low pressure systems want to start bearing down on California, especially over the next few days. We can see one that's especially cut off. Wants to start moving down toward our area, and then it looks like about Tuesday or so, that guy will be placed right down around the Southern California area, spinning in more southerly moisture and placing a heavy trough over our region as well. We can see on the WAMs how that's going to have an effect. Right now, not a whole lot going on. We can see a little bit of wind swell off the coast, really nothing much happening in the northern hemisphere. But as we start spinning the models forward in time, we can see a fetch starting to form where that cutoff low is coming from. So if we look over the next couple days, that low could be forming this fetch into something fairly sizable, but about a thousand miles off the coast, which means it really wouldn't be bringing much to Southern California. And that would be coming once again right around the 31st, which would be Sunday. Sunday is also going to see a little bit of southwest. Taking a blast of the past, we can see why. Back around the 22nd of May, little minor fetch broke off Antarctica. Not a whole lot to really bring us much. A little bit of something will be coming through Sunday from this. You can see this one really didn't form much, spinning the models forward in time on this. Even around the 23rd, really didn't produce much in the way of waves. But a little bit will be coming in Sunday with that wind swell if everything forms right off the coast from that cutoff low. Taking a look at the southern hemisphere today, though, it's primed and ready to go for more action. Uh, this is a look at the jet stream, which is shown in gray. A little bit hard to see, possibly. You can see where Antarctica is, New Zealand. There's a nice bend in the jet stream northward, just to the east of New Zealand. That's going to allow storms that get caught in that to actually move forward and throw swell our way. And that's what's happening right now. If we take a look at today's model, here's a nice size fetch that's following that trajectory. It's got 30 plus foot seas, and it's, that's pretty good size to throw swell in Southern California. Watch, though, as we spin the models forward in time, you can see it's not traveling directly northward, so it's going to have some angular spreading decay to it, but still be throwing us some decent-sized surf. That should be arriving right around the 5th, a little bit of something before starting to fill in on the 3rd and 4th. So well, that's all fine and good. We do know that's happening. Here's a look at the long range. Something does hold some promise down in the Southern Ocean toward New Zealand, following kind of that same trajectory as we would find from that jet stream that's been bending northward. Look at this guy, 144 hour model out, 156, 168 and 180 hours out. We're taking a look at a fairly sizable fetch following that nice northward trajectory. We'd be throwing a lot of swell at Southern California, but that's a long range projection. That's many days away from actually occurring. Long range models, as we all know, still a little bit iffy, so got to keep an eye on that to see what happens. If this does form as it's showing on this model, then we'd be seeing some sizable swell right around June 12th, but we've got to see how that progresses over the next few days. In the meantime, though, not a whole heck of a lot happening. It's going to be flat for a little while. Sunday sees a little bit of an increase, heavy onshore flow, looking to really come into California then, though. A little bit of southwest from that uh, minor Antarctic fetch that formed around the 22nd. A little bit of wind swell as that cutoff low should produce a little bit of fetch, but we're really not looking at a whole lot of surf coming in Sunday. Looks like around June 3rd, 4th, uh, Wednesday, Thursday of this coming week, we'll be seeing some decent-sized surf come in. Not a whole heck of a lot, but a small increase in southern hemi start to build. And then that better fetch we're seeing today that's forming off of Antarctica and caught up in that nice flow of the jet stream, coming in around the 5th and 6th, bringing us some decent size, probably about chest high surf or so. And then it looks like we may have potential to see something even bigger around the 12th. It's based on a real long range simulation, though it's far too early to call, so I'm not even going to attempt size calls on that today, but I'll be keeping an eye on it. If you always want to check out the latest ETAs on the swell, the wind, weather, tide, more, just check out my SoCal Surf Report at wetsand.com. Mm -hmm.